Hello everyone, welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles where today we are going to be taking a look at, well, something a little bit different. Honestly, it's uh, something that apparently I pre-ordered and I have no recollection of that whatsoever. It showed up and so here it is. This is the Alien Megabox MB-01 Original by 52 Toys. And apparently it's a transforming big chap that has like a transforming face hugger and it's got like an egg and the chest burster in there. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna check it out. All right, well, I have unpackaged the Mega Box Alien, and this is what it comes with. It comes with a box, which I think is just part of their series. I'm sure viewers can kind of help me out here, but apparently, like, they have a series of transforming toys of different figures and things, and it all, like, transforms into a box, and you're able to put it in the box, and then these boxes are stackable and clickable together which is kind of a cool idea. I would probably enjoy this as a kid back in the day. I always loved the uh, Transformers and now I have a transforming alien. So pretty freaking rad. It comes with the alien, obviously. Mr. Big Chap and we will take a close look at him in one moment. Set him aside and it comes with a egg and then it comes with a little chest burster and then also a face hugger so let's kind of go over everything here first up in the packaging it comes with a very detailed and apparently very lengthy transforming instruction sheet for this guy um, which looks like to be a pain in the butt. I'm going to kind of pause it or hold it still so you guys can kind of pause it. If you have one and you lost the sheet, you would like to see what it looked like. Here you go. It is apparently way easier to take him from the box shape into Big Chap versus this, which is going from big chap to the box good lord okay let's take a look at big chap himself all right let's see here do a quick overview of him and i have to say like he is freaking rad i'm gonna stick his little tail down i think this guy's pretty cool i have to admit is like a robot xenomorph. And it has pretty good articulation for a transformer. So the head has a pretty good movement. And I think you can even like put it forward and back, tilt it. So that's really cool. Also, in here, if you open up the jaw, you have the inner mouth that pops out. So that is really cool. And you can see with the translucent smoked dome, the skull underneath there. Let's go over the arms. This little bit just kind of folds out, but we have really good movement out of the shoulder and just trying to check all this thing out as far as the wrist or the elbow there is okay movement there but not great it's really pretty limited to be honest with you you only have about that much to go but the wrist is on a ball and you have full pivot and swivel. And then you also have 
joints for the individual fingers. So that's pretty cool. We'll come back underneath here. Nothing going on in the chest, obviously. The hip has good movement and they're a little bit, some of these joints are a little bit loose, but uh, it's really not too, too terribly bad. And we have good movement here. We need like, hi yeah, And kick, I guess, somebody out of the way, like Dallas. And the knee is actually a double jointed knee, which is super cool. And also we have the foot. The foot has a ball joint on here with tons and tons of movement and pivot. And then the foot is also made of three pieces where we have pivot on the front and the back. I'm sure a lot of this has to do with the transforming abilities here. But I think he looks pretty freaking rad. I'm digging this guy. Didn't even remember ordering him, but apparently I did. I guess I got myself into a little bit of trouble, huh? And then here is his tail. So very, very cool. We will set him aside for now. And he does stand up really well. Let's take a look at the egg, which has some pretty cool weathering on here. Uh, it is obviously not the color of an egg, but we're going to just ignore that. It has the flaps that open up. They're painted pink inside. There's nothing going on inside here, though. I'm going to set that aside. Then we have this little chest burster, which honestly, it's weird. Like it's um, shaped weird. And then also like it's uh, it's made out of a really, really soft rubbery material. So it's almost like you're holding like a grub worm or something. It's really weird. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of tripping out about this. But this is a weird little guy. I'm going to pet him on the head. And set him down. And then we have the face hugger. Which, again, has... Uh, <clears throat> I say weathering, but they just kind of added some coloring on here. With a brush. It's not, obviously... Face hugger's not going to be weathered, but... And, uh... Yeah, I think this tail comes out more. So let's see here. It's got so many joints on this figure. Somebody put a lot of time into engineering this stuff. But this is just all one piece. No, I think it moves. Maybe it does move. There we go. But all the legs are just all one piece. It would be cool if the legs were articulated. But again, I mean, this is supposed to just kind of resemble a face hugger. Obviously, it is a, uh, it is more robot than a face hugger. But still cool. All right, so now I am going to tackle transforming Big Chap into a box. And we'll see how this goes. And real quick, before we get to transforming him. I think what I'm going to do is try to do like a time-lapse transforming video. But uh, anyway, if you're curious about height, he is about four inches tall in total. So let's get the time-lapse going and watch me fumble through trying to put this guy into a box.
And after that not so terrible process, we have him in a mega box. See how he's all tucked in there. And transformed. There's a little egg and then the chest burster is inside the egg, which makes zero sense. But anyway, the face hugger is over top here, which actually looks pretty cool. I like the way that looks. So we will see if he fits in the box, which I have not tested. Oh, look at that. And there he is in his box. What a cool, cool idea. I like that a lot. So final thoughts on this guy would be, I really love what 52 toys are doing here with uh, this mega box series alien. I think it's super cool that uh, it transforms into a box and then you have different, you know, mega box figures that transform into a box and you kind of all stack them together. That's a pretty cool and different concept. <clears throat> and I also love that it's just a different toy. Like, uh, I mean, maybe there's transforming aliens out there already. I'm not aware of them. I think this this is super cool. And it was a lot of fun to uh, play with, to be honest with you. Again, like, I'm just a kid at heart, and I grew up on the Transformers, and I loved playing with those toys as a kid. And this is definitely a throwback to it. And it's just, it's not like a super expensive collectible or anything like that. It's like 30 bucks, but it's a lot of fun. And I bet you if you bought one for one of your kids, they would probably freaking love it. So anyway, as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments on the piece and I'll be happy to answer them. And feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.